Hi everyone, today what we're going to do is set up an automated task so that we can quickly and easily convert any video file on a Mac into an audio file. Now it does take about 30 seconds to set this up for the first time, but then after that, what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to right click on any video file on a Mac and then press convert to audio. And within just a few moments, it'll convert it to audio. So a little bit of setup uh, so that you can simplify your video editing for the future. So what we're going to do first is um, just have a look at these files that I've got here on the screen. So what I've signed up to is an online course. And as part of that online course, there are videos. But all I really want from these downloads is the audio component because I'll be listening to this on the Sonos in the car or while I'm on public transport. So as you can see, there's six files here and they've got some video content in that. And if I have a look at the total size of that, it's almost 10 gigabytes. So that's taking up quite a lot of space on my Mac. But really, if I just want the audio component, we could really sh shrink this down quite a lot. So what we're going to do first is to create an automator task. And that'll mean that it'll be really easy for us to right click and then save these as audio. So first what you'll do is go to the top right hand uh, corner of the screen where you see the search icon, click on search, and then in here type automator. So what you'll see here is um, the automator uh, tool within Mac OS. So if I go ahead and click on that, and then what it does here is it um, allows me to either choose a new document. So what we'll do is we'll create a new automated document. So press new document down the bottom. And then what we're going to do is press quick action. So what this does is this creates a quick action, which means you can right click on any file that's a video file and do something with it. So we go ahead and press choose. And we just have to configure a couple of things first. So we only want this to apply to certain files. So where we've got here that it says workflow receives current, click that drop down box and choose movie files. And now what we're going to do is in the search box here where we've got different actions, we're going to go down to movies. And then we're going to click on the item here that says encode media. So what you'll do is you'll drag this across to the right. And from here, you can choose the different settings that you want. So in this case, all we want to do with the video file is extract the audio from it. So if we click the drop down box here where it says the settings and press audio only, and we'll want this to be saved to the same folder as the files that we use. And that's it. So now what you need to do is to save this somewhere on your Mac so it can be reused over and over. So if you go ahead and press File, Save, and in here, give it a name. So, um, I'll give an example here. If we go ahead and press uh, type extract audio from video and press save. And we can go ahead and close our automator. And in this folder, what I can do is I can click on any of these files here, right click on it, and you'll now see the option is there, extract audio from the video. So if I go ahead and click on that now and see what it does to this two gigabyte video file. We'll just have to wait a couple of seconds while it does the task. You'll see up here in the taskbar that it's working on that extraction. So we'll just wait a few more seconds and it should be complete. Won't be too much longer there now. And there we go, that was done. So as you can see, this two gigabyte video file actually has about 49 megabytes of audio. So uh, that's it. And now it's really easy for you to select all the remaining files, right click, 
and press the same button. And what it will do is it will go through in sequence and it will complete the extraction of all these video files for you and convert them to audio with nothing more than a shortcut. So I hope that saves you a whole lot of time. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.